and today we're having some more fun in our studio room we're actually going to open up another little passport box and this is the third one in the series so this one is about food so we're super excited to open it up So this month's box is food, which like I said is the third one in the sequence. So what's really cool about little passports is that they're not like a month by month. Yeah. So you can join it anytime and you'll always get the same sequence. So the third one in the little explorers is food. So this month it came with this really fun felt food play kit and our passport book. So let's open it up and see what it's all about. So the first thing we have to do is open up our letter and learn all about what we're going to be exploring this month. So it says, let's explore food. Hello Explorer, it's your friend Mia. Do you like trying new food? Wally, yeah. do you like trying new foods? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. I don't know about that. I do. Mrs. Lee brought some Chinese dumplings to Compass Community Center. They tasted amazing. When Max saw how much I love them, he scrunched his eyebrows. I said, it's meat inside a noodle pouch. Oh, like ravioli, Max said, and popped one in his mouth. He loved it. I wonder if we could go around the world tasting food we've never tried before, said Max. Let's find out, I said. Yeah. You want to eat a gold? <gasps> you want to make eclairs? Yeah. Those look yummy. As you can see, we tasted new foods all over the world. Have you tested hey. something new in your mouth? Yeah. What have you tried lately that was new? Uh, I just, uh, you just tried something new the other night, didn't you? Yeah. A pizza. Yeah, pizza. <laughs> Mama. Do you have a kid that doesn't like pizza because this guy does not like pizza and I just feel like that is so abnormal for a child? Yeah, I, just, I, just, I don't want I only want dog dick pizza. You just like the sausage, but not the pizza itself. Yeah, I only like bacon and dog dick. Is it ideal, it ideal, it, it ideal a, a pizza with dog dick on it? I just eat it. If you see a sausage pizza, you're just going to eat it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, check out the yeah. souvenir and other you know super fun Dottie stuff pizza. we sent. Happy travels, yeah. Mia you, you and Max. Dog. You, Wally really wants to make these eclairs. Those look yummy. <laughs> look at, there's the tom yum soup that Mama. they tried. <gasps> there's the faluda, Mama. mochi, Mama. and ravioli. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is put all of our food stickers on the map so we can see where all these different yummy foods come from from around the world. You ready, Wally? Yeah, let's get them on the map. All right, Wally, so the first thing we're gonna do is tacos. Do you see tacos? They're from right here. That's where tacos are from. Tacos are traditional Mexican food made from soft corn tortillas and filled with cooked meat. They can be topped with salsa, onions, radishes, and herb called cilantro and lime juice. Ooh, Wally, look. Look, what's the next one? Fish and chips from England. Mm, that's one of my favorites. And it's gonna go right here over in England. Right here. Right here. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Ooh, sushi. We made sushi. Remember when we made sushi? Yeah. Japanese started making sushi as early as the ninth century. Whoa, it can be eaten with chopsticks or your hands. Okay. Ooh, this last one is from Brazil and it's called Brigadieros. They're a soft chocolatey, chocolatey dessert often enjoyed at parties and celebrations. Mm, mm, mm. Brazil is in South America. Yeah, it's gonna be right over here. Mm, okay, we got everybody on the map. Are you ready for the next activity? All right, so now we're gonna hop in to our activity book for the month. And this one looks like lots of fun. <gasps> Wally, look it. Mm, we're gonna do some matching with some sushi. Ooh. We're gonna look at, we're gonna look at all this food in the market and cross out the things that don't belong. 
Ooh, look at there's even some recipes in here. We'll have to make these for breakfast one day. They have a mini frittata recipe. Mm, that looks really good. Different utensils from around the world. That's really fun. We are gonna work on this, and when we work on this, we're actually gonna flash back to a super fun food activity that Wally and I did. Earlier this summer, I brought home a really fun pop and cooking box when we were in Epcot from the Japan Pavilion, yeah. and Wally and I made candy sushi. So I'm gonna insert that video here for you guys while we work on some fun activities here. I want them, Didi. You want some candy? Yeah, this Didi. It's candy, so let's make it. Yay! Okay, so when we open it up, we have this little container, and it has these scissor marks on it. So I have a feeling we're gonna use this as like our sushi table, so I'm gonna try and carefully open it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, Wally, is we're gonna make some rice. So we're gonna fill this oval depression, that has a number one, with water. Okay, so can you fill up your water and put it in there? Just fill it up with water, keep going. Then add powder from the blue packet, stir until thick like cooked rice. So here's our rice candy powder, and we're gonna pour it in here, and it's gonna turn into rice. You ready? Mm -hmm. It's turning into rice. Why mm -hmm. did you do all these? All right, there it is. Thick like cooked rice, I guess. Okay, are we ready? What's the next step? Add water to line on the side in spiral section. Okay, so here's our spiral section. Then add powder from the yellow packet. Add a little bit more. Perfect, that's good, that's perfect. Okay, turning yellow. Oh my gosh, it's turning yellow. Uh-oh, I think we did too much water. Wait for three minutes until firm. Okay, then we're gonna do the red packet. Perfect. Now let me, let me do it. Okay, it spread it out. Good job. All right, we've got our sushi and our egg and our rice. So now, we're gonna make seaweed. So we got this little black candy in here and we're gonna use our little sushi prep table and make our seaweed. All the way spread out here. Okay, there's our seaweed. It's hot. Now we're gonna make salmon roe. This is gonna be so cool. Are you ready to do this? Add water to the lines on sides of section A and B, and then put them in A and B up to the lines. gonna cause a chemical reaction. Why? It's gonna be really cool. That's pretty cool, dude. Look at, look at the little balls that are forming in there. That is so cool, that salmon roe. It made these little balls. Okay, we're gonna take some rice right here, okay? We're gonna form a little rice ball, okay? So there's our little rice ball. We're gonna put it here on our Thing. And then we're gonna cut these in half. <gasps> that is so cool. Oh, well, hold on, we're gonna put it on our on our rice. <gasps> oh my gosh! Look at that, so cool, dude. Okay, let's make another rice ball. Okay, that is so cool. I want to eat that one. Ready to die? You ready to try it? Hold on, let me show them. Let me show them what it looks like. Whoa! There's all of our sushi. Mm, does it here? Hold on. Let's see. Does it look like the box, Wally? Put it down on there and let's see if it looks like the box. Okay, there's all of our sushi. I think it kind of looks like the box. You think we did a good job? You ready to try it? What happened that you did that? It's okay. You can eat it. It's all candy. You try it. Here he goes. What do you think? Did it? Mm hmm. Is it good? You like it? Mm -hmm. Okay. You approve? Oh, he approves. <laughs> That's pretty good, buddy. Must be tasty, huh? Alright, I'm gonna try one too. Okay. I'm gonna take one of the 
tuna rolls. Molly's gonna do an egg roll. Okay, ready? Yes. Dink it and sink it. Those are really good. Mm -hmm. How? All right. Do that I'm really that happy with that. That was super fun, dude. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And super tasty, too. All right, well, we just finished this whole book. Well, I did every single activity, didn't you, buddy? Yeah, I did the whole book. You did the whole thing. That was awesome, dude. Cool. All right, well, are you ready for the next thing? Yeah. Okay, let's open up our play food kit this is so cute it came with this felt food play kit it has 45 I mean, felt food open. pieces yarn six faster dots six felt food it. recipes and a menu so let's open it up all right so we got all of our felt food out and here's our menu and it's really cool on the inside it shows you all the different things that you can make and some of the felt food can be used for multiple things. So Wally and I are gonna make some sushi. That's what I wanna make that. You wanna make a hamburger? Let's make a hamburger and some sushi. Okay, Wally, do you wanna show them how you make a hamburger? Look at yeah. Here's your hamburger. Can you make a hamburger just like that? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see it. Yep, got your hamburger on there. You're gonna piece the cheese. Oh, we need. Eddie. And some lettuce. Here. Yep. And a tomato. Okay, tomato. Yeah. And some pickles. Two pickles. Mm, two pickles. And then the top of your bun. Yum! Oh, 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 oh. Is it yummy? No. 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 Does it taste like felt? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make some sushi. So we got our rice. And we're gonna do some. They don't eat it. Ooh, we're gonna do, look, pickled radish. Mm. Pickled radish. And some avocado. Mm. And some tuna. Now I'm gonna wrap up all my, my sushi around this. Put in my bottle. Mmm. Look at my sushi. <gasps> nom, 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 nom. Put it in my hand butter. Wow. Do you want to trade? No, put it in. Can my... I trade you my sushi for your hamburger? Maybe we You're don't... gonna put sushi in your hamburger? Then red diet. That's a mega burger. <gasps> <He loves me. laughs> All right, well, it wouldn't be a little passports box until we finished off our postcard to send oh, off yes. a special friend. Are you ready to put it together? This one's super fun because you get to do all the food on the table. That is a bountiful feast. And Wally drew a sushi roll. All right, well, we have one final thing we need to do to finish off this passport box. We gotta put our sticker on our suitcase. You ready, Bubba? You wanna get it on there? All right, well, we have another sticker on our suitcase on our journey around the world. This was super fun to learn about all the different foods from around the world, and hopefully maybe it inspired this guy to try some new and exciting foods. So let us know down in the, in the comments below, does your little one have exploratory tastes when it comes to food? This guy likes his staple foods. He's all about simple things like grilled cheese sandwiches and chicken nuggets. But maybe we'll try some new stuff. Maybe we'll make those frittatas tomorrow. Do you want to make frittatas tomorrow yeah. morning? That'd be so fun. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching and for coming along on our journey around the world. This is the wonderful world of Walter, and we love you just the way you are. Bye. Bye.